Good kitten internet. Um, somebody had made a comment wondering what my new um, video editing scheme was and how I was able to blow through so many of them so fast. So I thought I'd show you. I don't have the camera on at the moment because I don't have the green screen behind me. But that's not going to matter. So uh, for reference, I am now using DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. And that speeds up the rendering parts of things, but it doesn't really change what I'm actually doing. So I wanted to show you. Uh, first off, I, the way I'm doing this is that I'm actually using the same project each time. I'm just saving it as a new project number. So in this case, I am editing episode 17. So I am saving episode 16 as episode 17. At the moment, we have two videos over here. One of these is episode 15s and one of them is episode 16s. I go through and delete episode 15. I'm keeping episode 16 up. I also delete any commentary that is still sitting there from the previous episode. And then go ahead and zoom this out a lot so I can actually see and have more space. From here, I am alt-tabbing over to my temporary video storage. Uh, I have a lot more than just this on here. Um, just dragging and dropping it into my bucket. Uh, this was actually the issue that I had with the previous video where Resolve decided to just not let me drag things over. Anyway, I'm going to add this here. You will notice that this is mismatched. This is intentional because I actually have two video channels. One of them is for the camera and one of them is for gameplay. I'm dragging it over to the camera one, right clicking, choose unlink clips and removing the audio. Reason being is that I'm then going to drag over the gameplay one. Now everything aligns correctly. Um, when I'm recording, I'm recording using three audio tracks. There's the combined audio track, which is the default one, so I can actually listen to what's going on. It's a very simple audio combination. I'm not tweaking audio levels to speak of, so it's just recording as is. Usually it means the game audio is a little bit higher. Uh, in fact, if I click on game audio, you will notice that I am dropping game audio by 20.2 decibels which is roughly down to 25%. Anyway, um, from here, I unlink the clips, and then I right-click, copy, then paste attributes. So what I'm actually doing here is that I am pasting all of the customized settings that I have done. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Because my original source material, actually, I can just open it really fast. You will notice that in the original source material, the camera is down below everything. So I'm actually not recording at 4K. I'm recording slightly above 4K. So if we go look at the codec information, you can see that I'm recording at 3840 by 2880. What it is is that I'm recording at 4K with a 720p display, uh, 720p camera stream down below. And that's actually how I'm doing this. Anyway, from here, um, so what I have done is that at this point, we have things in the correct positions. We have the camera down below, we have the gameplay up above. The green screening has not actually occurred at this point. So all that this has done is change, if you look over at the transform section, you will notice that there's some zoom settings, some positioning. Uh, there's also cropping that's being done where this is effectively the same image twice. I'm just cropping different parts of it and moving it around. And that's really about it for the copy and paste stuff. So at this point, I don't need any of the old stuff, so I delete it. Um, if I'm going to throw in any commentary, now is the time for me to do so. I am not throwing in commentary on this video because I'm trying to do this relatively quick. I skip through to make sure that there isn't anything major going on. Oh, it looks like we're going through Mars. Oh, we're actually doing plot. I know this video. Sorry, it's been like real time a long time at this point. I think this one's only a month old though, right? Um, 926, month and a half. So this would have been... Yeah, anyway. Um, today's the 11th, as you can tell from my time and dance stamp here. Oh, it finally finished rendering the audio. Normally I don't get to see that. So what we need to do next is handling the green screen. So from here, I am right-clicking the camera recording and then choosing Open in Fusion page. So I used to do green screening in a very different manner. 
which was fine and actually worked generally better, except that the rendering of it was single-threaded. I have a 12-core, 24-thread CPU. It was making rendering time abysmal, especially since now that I have things GPU accelerated, I was, like, a 4K video was taking two plus hours to render. Now it's more like 20 minutes. And even then, that's mostly because I'm doing fancy stuff, and it's actually rendering things twice. I'll get to that later. Anyway, so what I've done is I've added into the Fusion list a Delta Keyer. This Delta Keyer allows me to chroma key this background. Now, there's a weird bug with Resolve that if I pick the screen color, you'll notice as I'm moving it over, it's flickering back and forth. If I click, it immediately changes the color. I don't know why this is. So I've actually created a couple of custom colors that seem to match. This one never seems to match correctly. I need to make it less yellow. There. So I just choose between these two colors. I'm ignoring everything on the gameplay side for reference. That does not matter in this case. And choosing the one that's closer, I think this one is actually closer in this case. So I've hit OK. You can see the checkerboard background that indicates transparency, but it's not great. What I'm actually going to do is change this view mode to matte. This just gives me a white and not white colored background. Then sliding over to this matte section, this is where we can do the thresholds for the green screening. So as I increase this lower threshold, you'll start seeing things turn to black. I increase it until everything's black. And yes, I know that I have parts of my head cut off. Then the upper threshold, I drop to remove the parts that are cut off. So at this point, it should just be silhouettes of myself and my partner, Creator. After changing the view mode back to final results, you will see, hey, look, this actually looks pretty good. There's no, like, green fringing or anything, and it doesn't take that much. Switching back to edit view, yes, I removed the buttons that I'm not using down here. Now you see that it actually looks pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I can't handle things like when it's cut off or when I turn purple because it's late at night. But there's a couple of areas that have these like little scatter fields areas. So I have to go back through the editing, go back to Matt and figure out what I need to do to reduce the scattering. Looks like I might need to just increase the threshold even more. So this might be a sign that I need to switch the key to the other shade. Um, low light situations are really difficult to key. I'm not too concerned about a slight amount of scattering. But like, it was excessive before. What's this look like now? Okay, that looks decent. Does it still look decent at the start? No. So this is really the only fiddling around that I do. Oh, just look at the transparency, it's ridiculous. The main part is that I want to make sure that... Keep doing that. You can't have the threshold high and low be the same value. Um, the main part, let me just zoom in a bit, is that I want to make sure that my head is not being cut off which requires a bit of tweaking occasionally, especially in low light situations. So that looks to be about the best I'm going to get. Yeah, they're still scattering. Ah. So what I could do is cut this off and do two separate sets of green screens. I'm not going to do that in this case. What I'm going to do is just try my best. I'll accept a little bit of my head being cut off, I suppose. Oh, right. I need to be on matte mode to actually see what the heck I'm doing. That's probably about the best I'm going to get. And yeah, you can see that there's fringing on this now. It's unfortunate. And yeah, I could theoretically fill around with the fringe options. I have not been able to get this to work very well in low light, so I haven't bothered fiddling with it. So we're going to have a little bit of background scatter. It's not that big of a deal. It's really just because it's low light and I need to get better lighting. Hopefully the new place I can put up some lights. Anyway, um, this is now done. No, no, really. So I go to delivery, choose YouTube specifically at 2160p. We are going to save this as LP Starfield E17. 
Um, this is being saved on one of my temp SSDs. I don't have a huge amount of space, so I can only do about four videos at a time because, well, so there's five videos here because I keep the previous video just, or keep the previous source material just in case. This is already taking up a quarter of a terabyte. Um, this SSD is 2T large, but it's also where I have my Steam games, so it's a little on the full side. You will notice that I only have 400 gig free right now, and I'm going to be rendering four videos. Each of those videos are going to be approximately 50 gig. We're going to run out of space. I delete episode 14 before I start the render. Anyway, um, I'm not having this upload directly to YouTube. I've recently been having problems with that. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, we are keeping the 3840 by 2160 format. This is 60 frames per second. We are keeping an MP4, but our video codec is AV1 because I have a shiny video card that actually has AV1 acceleration, which means it takes marginally longer, but it makes the file size a little bit smaller for the same quality or even better quality. Anyway, add it to the render queue, and then I start over with the next one. Um, if I show all projects on here, you will see that I have several videos queued up. Uh, episode 15, I'm trying out the different video qualities again to make sure that AV1 is the best choice. So I have AV1, X265, and X264. YouTube will accept all three of these. But I just want to see which one's going to be the best quality for file size and render time. Anyway, from here, I just... Okay, now that I've done that, and it should be auto-saving the project, but just in case I hit save, go back to the edit view, go save the project as, do the next one, rinse and repeat, and that's it. There's not really much else to what I am doing right now. I mean, it's a quick process for me to edit, which is the whole point as to why I switched to this. It's because this has, like... Editing this has taken such a long time when I first started this that I stopped wanting to edit it. That's how I ended up far behind. So it's a fairly simple process for me to get this out the door now, which is important because I don't like video editing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Editor me loves giving in commentary and so on, but that takes so long especially when I have this much of a backlog. Once I stop having anywhere near as much of a backlog, I will go back to having editor me do things. But until that point, this commentary section is going to be mostly blank. Ah, I'm actually almost done editing the next one. This is how fast that I am going, and I'm talking to you all at the same time, mind you. So I'm definitely not doing this at full speed. Uh, over here. This is... I think this is going to be closer. Ugh. Maybe it's not closer. Let's switch over to the other one. Really? I have got to stop doing this in low light. All right, fine. Let's actually try to get a new key value. Might as well show you how to do that. So what I am going to do is choosing a new custom color and then pick screen color. Now, instead of clicking on here like a normal sane person would, what I'm actually doing is looking at that HTML blank which says uh, pound 18.9b.6b. So when I click on it, so 18.9b.6b, it will change. And I change it back to 18. I've already forgotten it. Dang it. We're going to do 18.9662. There we go. Add third color. This one might be better for darker screens anyway, or darker situations. Yeah, there's far less splash, so I have the ability to drop threshold down quite a bit more.
What color shirt was I wearing this time? Anyway, blue. Seriously, me? Wait, I don't even own a blue shirt. What the hell was I wearing? Oh, well, good enough. I'm not as concerned about my shirt not showing up. I'm much more concerned about, you know, everything else, like the scatter over here. I know I could go through and tweak it slightly better. Probably should. This scatter. It doesn't help that my partner's hair is relatively light colored, which makes it really difficult. Hat. Dang it. makes it really difficult to actually make this turn out. How is this going to look? Is this going to... Oh, I still have it set for Matt. Uh, final result. Oh, this is going to look hideous. Yeah, it is. We definitely need to drop this a little bit. I'm just going to have to accept some scatter, unfortunately. So, like, a couple of pinpricks like that aren't really going to show up that well. Creator, why do you keep wearing light colored clothing? Yeah, that's not even coming close to being able to green screen it. Okay. See what I mean? This is the part that actually takes the longest. Wait, I thought you were... Let's go later. Yeah. Like, this isn't even close to green screened, so I am definitely going to have to redo this. Yeah, this is way too late in the day. I mean, you can even see, like, a little bit of the green screen coming out. Grumble. Seven two seven five five seven. Get the darker green screen. I mean, in theory, I could just apply multiple green screens. I'm not thinking about it. That might be a better option. Because this is not going to look that great, even at lower lighting, is it? Uh, lower lighting, it's not that bad. Or higher lighting, I should say. Lower lighting, it's awful. Now let's take a look at the end scene. Now, what happens if I add in a second belt here? Maybe switch this around a bit. There, like that. Or not. Yeah, well. We will just go like that. Yeah, the, this is really the problem in recording so many videos is that it ends up so late at night that it's impossible to green screen things properly. 
So I'm just going to have to throw in an editor note of, yeah, this green screen is going to suck. Anyway, uh, I might as well just stop the recording. I uh, hope this was enlightening. Talk to you all later. Bye.